averaging under 18, 19 minutes a game, they don't have an impact on this game. Monarchs in the white home Under Armour uniforms moving left to right. UTSA coming out in the road blue with the orange and white trim and wherever you may be on this Thursday. Thanks for joining us for Conference USA Hoops. Here's A.J. Oliver laying it off to Trice who lays it in for two. Austin Trice coming off his 25-point performance at FIU, the first deuce tonight. Trice does a nice job of sealing that weak side defender that came over to pick him up. Christian Tucker takes it down the left side, does a little penetrating, then gets the ball back to Sapoli. They reset with McNeil. McNeil against the Monarch man-to-man. -man. Gets to the elbow, turns and fires and comes up short. Makai Long the rebound for Old Dominion. He's quickly into the front court to our right. Left blocks. It's Trice again to the hole and he lays it up and in. Well, he's using his quickness. He's a little bit shorter than his defender. Uses his quickness for that little drop step to the baseline. Always an energy guy, but what oh. a contributor in that win at FIU on December 30th with 20 five points nine rebounds four assists here's jacob germany they're going to need a big game out of him if they're going to compete here's his pass it's deflected saboli knocks it on the end line and that's a turnover for the roadrunners Trice doing it on the defensive end taking away that little move to the middle forcing the big man for utsa to pick it up utsa winless on the road this year they're 0 and 4 they average 10 points fewer on the road than they do in san antonio here's C.J. Kaiser, that rims the basket, no good. Rebound comes down to Christian Tucker. 4-0 Old Dominion, a minute and a half in here in Norfolk. Tucker skip pass to the right side, so bullying to the corner to Darius McNeil. Germany out top, guarded man-to-man -man by Trice, and here's Sabuli for three, that's no good. Offside rebound comes down to A.J. Oliver. And here's Jalen Hunter into the front court for Old Dominion. Trice, he'll try the elbow jumper. That's rattling around oh, and in. Oh. Austin Trice, three for three to start. Now remember down at FIU, he hit two jumpers that got his motor. I mean, it revs high to normally. If he hits a jumper, watch out. The oh no first and then <laughs> yes for the Monarch coaching staff from Austin Trice's shot selection. Here comes McNeil to the hole. His runner no good. Trice the rebound for ODU. Hunter quickly into the front court. Snap pass oh, down beautiful. low. Makai Long blocked from behind by Sabuli. What a defensive what play a there. Recovery. Layman Sabuli with a defensive play of the game. Keeps it a 6-0 Old Dominion lead. Here going baseline with the scoop. No good for Latchlin Boffinger. But he'll go to the line after the personal foul goes against Old Dominion. What a recovery to block that shot. The defender comes from the free throw line to take away a stone cold layup. Boffinger, a 6'6 sophomore from Sydney, Australia. He'll get two free throws, try and get UTSA on the board. Does it with the first. He's a 28% free throw man. What did you say? He shoots 28% from the from the line. foul line. Wow. One more toward the bucket to our left. That one's no good. But from the second position, extra effort from Saboli. Uh, leads to a three. That's no good. Germany the rebound. Knocked out of his hands by Kaiser. And the Monarchs come away with the basketball. And Ted, this is not a very good outside shooting team. UTSA, their strength, offensive boards. Really good rebounding team. And here's Kaiser to the hole with a double pumper that doesn't go. But he's going to be awarded a trip to the free, three th uh, free throw line. First foul shots of the night for Old Dominion. Our officials this evening, a good group, oh. Doug Sermons, Roger Ayers, Darren George. All three of these officials have worked deep into the NCAA. C.J. Kaiser, Monarch's leading scorer. Transfer out of North Carolina Central. Has his first point of the night, and the Monarchs lead it 7 nothing with 16.56 to go in the first. Kaiser averages 14 and a half to lead the Monarchs. Trice out and Kalua Zikpe, who's been limited in practice, Dave. That's why he didn't get the start. The big fella out of Lawrenceville, Georgia, in now, averaging 11 and a half points and a team best seven rebounds a game. And it will be interesting to see how much gas is in his tank. Kaiser goes one for two from the foul line, and it's a 7 nothing Old Dominion advantage. 
Eric Zumble into the ball game for Steve Henson and the Roadrunners. He's got the basketball right now on the right wing. To the top of the circle he goes. One bounce, right hand side. Working that side is Boffinger. Goes out for the little jumper, no good for Germany. And the Monarchs come away with another rebound. Three and a half scoreless for UTSA to start this ball game here in Norfolk. They'll go to Charlotte on Saturday afternoon and try and get out of the Queen City before the snow hits. Here's Hunter, one bounce into the corner, open three, long, well off the mark, and Germany has the board. Jacob Germany set a career high with 15 boards here in Norfolk, his last trip. Looping past the right-hand side, Eric Zumbel to Germany. They work the perimeter. Gets the ball to Tucker. His foul line jump is blocked, and here's Kaiser with a three on two. C.J. Kaiser, left-hand side, long, down low, A.J. Oliver, and he's getting to put it on the floor and attack the rim. Old Dominion's taken that away so far. Monarchs with the basketball. Ezekpe, foul line extended, goes to the left block, goes to work downstairs there, turns, and the jump hook was a little bit short, cleared right there by the Roadrunners, big fella, Phoenix Ford, 6'8", redshirt senior out of St. Petersburg, Florida. See if this second segment goes a little smoother for our visitors from San Antonio. Zumble to McNeil. Thinking about board the screen and roll, but they bring it back to Zumble. Zumble puts it on the deck. He takes it to the hole and lays it in. Eric Zumble, the light scoring guard, gets the Roadrunners on the board. 7-2 our score, 15.05 to go, first half. Hunter. Looking for cutters, using the pivot foot, gets it to Kaiser. Man-to-man -man defense from the Roadrunners. Zumble on Kaiser, who pulls up over him, and that jumper swished for two. Boy, as soon as that left his hand, he knew it was good. He started drifting back on defense. Nine to two, Old Dominion. 14-43 to play in our first half. Here's Ford, transfer out of Richmond. Stolen away from Zumble, and Zumble steals it back from Ezekpe. Pass almost gets away, but it's reeled in by McNeil. Into the corner they go, and that jumper there is a little strong from Sabali. And the Monarchs come away with the basketball, moving from left to right. Jalen Hunter steps into a right wing three. Yes! A little two, on two pull up jump shot. Did not even probe the defense at all. At all. Jalen Hunter just pulls up pure jump shot. 12-2, Old Dominion, and here's McNeil. Walk. Didn't put the ball on the deck soon enough. Traveling call against the Roadrunners. Monarchs by 10, six minutes in. Earlier this season at Oklahoma, the Roadrunners were outscored in the first half at Oklahoma, 33-10. So they've gotten off to the slow start. But, boy, when you're on the road, you need to find yourself a spark, especially when you're playing without the likes of Jude Dang and Jordan Ivy Curry and Cedric Alley. And, Ted, the problem is a lot of times when you get guys that don't play much, they finally get an opportunity, they try to do too much. Here's Hunter with the one bounce to Trice at the top of the circle. He's back in the ball game. Left-hand wing to C.J. Kaiser. One bounce now to the low blocks. This is Trice up and over and around and in. Oh, quickness and strength on that one. Fourth field goal for Austin Trice. Monarchs 14, UTSA 2, 13-35 to play in the first. This is Ford. Away from the bucket, taking Trice away from that glass. It's the ball now to Aliu Aliu. And here's an effort from Boffinger. Take it to the hole, and he's fouled. And it looks like it'll be number two against Austin Trice. Check it, that's Ezekpe who picks up his first. Monarchs going with the two big guys now. Also, Charles Smith, the fourth into the ball game for Jeff Jones. And look at Kalu. It looks like he is drained already, doesn't it? Free throw is no good from Bovinger, who's 0 for 3 from the line. You know, Dave, you can do as many gassers as you want in the practice gym and all that type of stuff. It's just a different level of exertion when you get in the game. Without a doubt. It's a stop and start. It's the change of direction. You cannot simulate that when you just run lines or if you run just full length sprint. Boffinger 0 for 4 tonight from the foul line. It's still 14-2 Old Dominion. 13-15 to play in the first. Kaiser and Long and Smith and Trice and Hunter. And Hunter's got it. Zumble comes out to play man-to-man -man defense there. Off his screen comes Kaiser. To the hole he goes. The layup Whoa. is good. Oh, what a whirling dervish. Kaiser convert a lot, though, so they don't get a lot of second chance points. 
As a team, they shoot 38% from the field. They're coming off a loss on Saturday to Louisiana Tech, 79-63. Again, they're 0-3 in the league. Monarchs 1-0 as they defeated FIU in Miami December the 30th. Here's Zumble to the hole, and his running one-hander is good, and it'll count. And Eric Zumble has realized, I need to pick up some of the offensive slack, and he's got all four Roadrunner points. And how do they do it? Looking to put it on the floor, attacking the paint. Pretty creative shot on that last one. First foul on C.J. Kaiser. Germany off the Roadrunner bench. He'll come back in for four. Zumble and Germany, Boffinger on the floor for Steve Henson. Along with McNeil. Free throw no good from Zumble, but there's coming up with the board is Boffinger, and he takes it up, and he's going to be hammered. And that'll be Charles Smith, the fourth, picking up his first personal foul. Other roadrunner on the floor is Aliu Aliu. And Boffinger will see if he can break this 0 for 4 streak at the line. There he goes, first one and his first point. He'll get one more. 16 to 4, Old Dominion, 12.40 to play in the first half. One more for the 6 6 sophomore from Sydney. Two for two on that run. He's two for six from the line, and it's a 16 to six ball game. Boy, those two shots were so pure and so different than the four that he had missed. Had to recite the rifle during the timeout. Well, he did a nice job because they were just nothing but net. Hunter, Kaiser, Azikpe, Smith, and Long for Old Dominion attacking the bucket to our right. This is Hunter directing traffic. Takes the pass to Azikpe, goes to Smith in the corner. His three hits nothing, and it comes down to Boffinger. Gets the ball to Zumble. Zumble comfortable running the attack. But he's got a couple of buckets. He's the only roadrunner with buckets here. Germany tries to change that and does. <laughs> Jacob Germany makes it a 16-8 ball game with his first field goal. 11.55 to play. First half action from Chartway Arena in Norfolk. Here's Hunter to the hole. Driving. Gets it to Kaiser. He puts it on the deck into the paint. Pulls up from the elbow and hits the deuce. That's a nice little change of direction, change of pace dribble by Kaiser. Looked like he was going to take a jump shot directly in front of the basket. Takes another couple escape dribbles for a cleaner look. Improving the ball handling skills as opposed to just catching and shooting. Here's Zumble against Kaiser's man-to-man -man defense. Now Makai Long picks him up. Germany at the top. Dribble handoff to Tucker. Tucker back to Germany. He's open, shows the little jumper, goes baseline. Now to Zumble, fakes the pass and decides to fire the three. That's no good. And it's knocked out of bounds. No, Boffinger saves it to Germany, turns and fires. That's no good. Zumble tries to keep it going, but career points. Yeah, what a one-two punch they had. It, it, Wallace was probably the less fla flashy of the two. I remember Jackson coming in here, one of the best shooting halves I have ever seen. He just lit it up. For one half. A building record 45 he had that night, Javon Jackson and UTSA. But they, those guys are gone. And now it's a new set of Roadrunners trying to battle Old Dominion. We've got a violation against Old Dominion. Makai Long, moving screen. Moving screen on Long. That'll be his first personal. And A.J. Oliver will come in for... D'Angelo Steins, who was out there for a half a cup of coffee. Shot of espresso, perhaps. <laughs> and here's UTSA trying to carve into the 10-point Old Dominion lead. Germany hands the ball off to Christian Tucker. Tucker, shot blocked by Hunter, saves it. And here's uh -oh. Makai Long. He's ahead of the field. He drives and jams it all. Nice block by Jalen Hunter. Has the presence of mind to continue to follow the shot. Picks it up. Beautiful pass out. Here's Germany. Pocket almost picked by Kaiser. It'll be UTSA basketball. Now trailing Old Dominion 20-8 to here in Norfolk. You can imagine you lose Jackson and Wallace. Why the 
Roadrunners are averaging 69 points a game this year, well below last year's average. Here's McNeil from the foul line. The jumper's no good. Oliver soars for the rebound, rips it clear. Hunter, head man oh. pass for oh. Seek Payne. Oh. Kalu lays it in. Wow. You talk about threading the needle. Don't know, one, how he saw that, but to get the pass to go through, beautiful delivery. 22 to 8, Old Dominion, 9.47 to play in the first. McNeil to Germany, working the left blocks this time against Ezekpe. Turns and puts it up with the left hand, and they get stuck in the rim, and that'll be a jump ball, and it'll go to UTSA. Monarchs with 22 points, just about halfway through this first half. Last time in that victory at FIU, they had a season-high 44 points in the first half. Shot 65% from the field. That'll help. Tonight, Old Dominion is 10 for 15 from the field. 67%. Dave Strickland lighting us up early here in Norfolk. He's the best. The stats. He's the best. All right, the inbound play from Christian Tucker. Loops it out to McNeil. Ford back in the ball game. Couple of dribbles and a handoff to McNeil. Not much doing against Makai Long. Goes into the corner. He's what Sabali can do. And he drives, and that ball's blocked out of bounds and then knocked out of bounds by Sabali of UTSA Monarch Basketball. A nice play by A.J. Oliver. Keeps his stance, keeps, stays in front of his man. The last minute prize the ball loose. Nice defensive sequence. Roadrunners three for 14 shooting here tonight. And they trail 22 to 8. Hunter, soft pass. Germany knocks it out of bounds. Monarchs will get the inbounds from the side court with 19 to shoot. Kaiser back in for Azikpe. Well, that's the way Kalu is going to be used all night. He's going to get short minutes, come out for a little bit of a blow when he recovers. Short minutes again. Here's Trice, high post left hand side working against Germany. Now it's Makai Long. Pass goes off Kaiser and he loses it. Picked up Germany is ahead of the field. He'll drive and slam it home. Jacob Germany's second field goal is with the right hand and he flushes it home. It's a 22 to 10 Old Dominion lead. Couple casual passes last time, last two times down the floor. Meanwhile, Hunter gets himself to the right blocks and floats it up. No good. Germany another rebound for UTSA. Little run here from the Road Runners. McNeil to the top of the circle. Ford swings it around the perimeter to Saboli. Now Germany. And Tucker. Christian Tucker puts it on the deck. Loses the basketball. Three on one for Old Dominion. Kaiser to Oliver. He travels. No whistle. And the ball is missed. The layup. And that's going to be a foul. A little leg whip. Against A.J. Oliver, who missed the layup after traveling. Yeah, he did. There's no question. He did kind of forget to put the ball on the floor. That wasn't a Euro step, it was no. Trans Asia. Oh, no. Sometimes I guess it's hard to do that when you're racing down the floor at full speed, but it's kind of one of the rules of the game, isn't but it? But you notice the wings, it was pretty compact. They have to get a little bit wider, make that pass a little easier. 22 to eight minutes to play in our first half. Saboli, little jumper, no. Trice the rebound, outlet pass, left-hand side. Emo Essien, the freshman from Texas. Nice feed to Long, reverse layup, oh. nobody's feet percentage up there. Four for 16 from the field. And shooting himself in the foot a little bit from the line, only two for seven from the line. I don't think they've made a shot outside of 12 feet. Makai Long taking the cue of UTSA, misses the first free throw. His second for ODU is no good. So the lead remains 22 to 10. Monarch shooting 59% overall. Roadrunners 25. Here's McNeil. Not this time, said Austin Trice. Now he was looking to penetrate and kick it back out, but Trice challenges the, the, the pass, deflects it out of bounds. The Roadrunner inbounds play, baseline left. LULU is in. As is Josh Farmer, a 6'9 freshman from Houston. Zumble 
Doesn't use the farmer screen. Gets to the hole. Nice positioning from Zumbel who lays it up and in for his third field goal. 22 to 12. Crowd a little less than enthused at this point. As Kaiser takes it to the hole. Lays it off to Trice. The layup. No, but he's foul. Boy, nice tight curl by Trice. Or, I mean, by Kaiser. Didn't have the shot. Puts it on the floor. Draws his defender. Nice decision to dump it off to Trice. He just misses the shot. Farmer picks up his first personal. And Austin Trice will go to the line. He's got four field goals, eight points to lead all scores. C.J. Kaiser has seven for Old Dominion. Three for Jalen Hunter. Two for Kalua Zikpe and Mikai Long. Trice... No good on the first foul shot. He's a 56% free throw man. Meanwhile, Zumble has six for UTSA. Germany four, and Boffinger has two. It's a 22-12 Old Dominion lead. Way off for both of them. Monarchs one for six from the free throw line. And Zumble's going to try and cut into this 10-point lead. Price flashes out as Essien plays the man-to-man. -man. That's a kickball from A.J. Oliver. 20 to shoot for UTSA. Again, they're coming off that loss Saturday to Louisiana Tech. Old Dominion played on New Year's Eve Eve down in Miami and beat FIU 82-77. Zumble to Germany on the right blocks, working against the Zeke Pay. And he goes over Kalu and shoots it over the rim. Here comes Old Dominion now. Geyser to Essien. Freshman backup point guard in for Jalen Hunter. Working against the man-to-man -man workings of Darius McNeil. Drive, dish, Ezekpe, the jumper, good. Kalu's second field goal. It's a 24-12 Old Dominion lead. McNeil now and Aliou. Farmer. Back to Aliou. A lot of work beyond the arc. Now they go inside to Germany. His one hand pass finds the right wing. Tucker. Excuse me, this is McNeil pull up. That's no good. Azik pay the rebound. Outlet pass, left hand side. Monarchs are running. Emo Essien. Hands back to Azik pay. Will he step into a three? Yes, he will. And that's no good. Kalu now on the season is 0 for 3 from 3. Uh, UTSA would love to see us take that shot down every time down the floor. It's got to be alluring. There's a little pull up from Farmer that's no good. And Trice clears the board. Yeah, when you're wide open, as you've said 100 times, Dave, you're wide open for a reason exactly, from 3 if you're Kalu exactly right. Here's Kaiser with the right baseline jump shot that's no good. Offside rebound comes down to Zumble. 5-10 to play in the first half. Looping pass to Germany, and it's knocked away, and a foul will be called, I believe, on Essien. Emo Essien will pick up his first personal. Dave, can sometimes sloppy play be contagious? Absolutely can. No, no question. Especially, you have a 12-point lead if you're Old Dominion now. You can very easily get wrapped up into that up and down and not being very productive. Jacob Germany. 6'11", junior from Kingston, Oklahoma. Or again, I, I just look at Kalu. Yeah, First free throw is like, good. Looks like Kalu is drained. Germany's a 74% free throw shooter. He's one for one from the line tonight. He'll get one more. Try and cut into this Old Dominion lead. Largest lead was 14 at 22 to 8. Kalu didn't realize he was being subbed in. He thought that uh, Long was coming in for someone else. There was actually a look of disappointment on his face. He wanted to come out. Well, there's a time when your body can't cash the checks that your mind is writing. Here's Essien into the corner to Makai Long. He drives left baseline, shut off there by Germany. Nicely done. Uses the pivot foot, gets it to Kaiser in the corner, and he brings it back outside. Tough man-to-man -to -man defense from these roadrunners. We're down by 10 in Norfolk. And there's going to be a foul on Eliu. His first. Essien penetrates, gets by his man. 
throws it out to the weak side corner. He had a layup that he passed up to make that pass to the outside. Which is the bigger offense? Passing up the layup or you say Stop. no to that or a nice effect or Stop. attempt to get your teammates Stop involved. right there. You should never pass up a layup. All right. Now we're going to define what a uh -oh. layup is. Uh -oh. Here's Trice oh. with the step back jumper. Uh-oh. Two jumpers again. He's in and double again. figures with 10. It's 26 to 14. 425 to play in the first. Germany. Right hand side, Zumble. Zumble puts it on the deck, drives, dishes back, and the, losing the basketball there is LAU, but he gets it back, or actually, this is Saboli, gets it back, and Germany puts it up and is fouled on his way to a. Would have been a dunk. Two for two from the strike. Make that three for three. Roadrunners missed their first six from the foul line. They are now five for ten. And he hits the second. Eight points for Jacob Germany, and it's a 10-point Old Dominion lead. Essien, Hunter, Oliver, Trice, and Long for the Monarchs in white. Hunter looking at Trice on the right blocks. He's got it against Germany. Puts it on the deck, up with the right hand, and good. Wow. Solid move from Trice. He's got 12 to lead all scores. Germany in a good defensive stance. Trice just quick shoots over him. You know, we've been howling about him, a left-hander, shooting with the right hand before, but that was a really good-looking right-handed sure shot. sure was. Zumble, right-hand side to, to Zumble. Zumble drives, and he's going to be fouled on his way to the dish. The aggressiveness of Eric Zumble is really paying dividends. He's got three field goals. He's also creating some fouls. Long picks up his second, and Zumble, who's 0 for 1 from the line, and will get another chance. The three field goals he has, it's not from the outside. As soon as he gets it, he is looking to go into the scene to penetrate. And hit the first front end of a 1-1. One and one. The Monarchs come away with the basketball. The lead remains 12. Here's Ezekbe, hands back to Hunter. Jalen to the left elbow, brings it back to Kalu. Two-man basketball here as Ezekbe now snaps it to Essien. Right-hand corner to Oliver. One bounce to Trice on the right blocks, and he's fouled by four. four. That's a nice swing. The ball was on the left side of the floor. Kalu had it. Nothing happened. He made three passes, swing it to the right side, which enabled Trice to get deep post position on his defender. Austin, 12 points but 0 for 2 from the strike. First two attempts, hey. more like he's putting up drywall. Come on now. He's made a couple jumpers. You want him to do both? Make free throws and jump shots? Well, he just did right there. There you go. 13 points for Austin Trice. He averages 9 points and a shade under 6 rebounds a ball game. Boy, he sure does play with a lot of energy. Always brings it. Transfer from Kansas State. Out of Chicago. That one's no good. One for two from the line. Three minutes to go in our first half. Old Dominion leading UTSA here in Norfolk, 29-16. Zumble again. Right-hand side to Ford. Back to Zumble. Working against Jalen Hunter. Again, takes it down the left side, puts it up and in. Eric Zumble's fourth field goal. He leads UTSA with eight. He and Germany each have eight. And it's a 29 to 18 Old Dominion lead. Here's Charles Smith going to work against the bully. Now is Zeke Bay to A.J. Oliver. Oliver's got Boffinger in front of him. Hunter, left wing. Smith and a whistle. And that should be a foul on Ford, I believe. He and Trice are getting a little chippy. Ford will pick up his second personal. And it should be a one and one for Austin Trice. And Ted, we often refer to the scouting report. You have to know that Zumbled is a left-hander. Take the left hand away. All of his field goals have come on left-hand drives. No shots this time. 
Now they're over the foul limit. Here's A.J. Oliver putting it on the deck, taking it to the hole, layup, good. Oh, look, A.J. Oliver, not known to be a driver, but that last step and a half fakes a pass that frees that interior defender, enables A.J. to get off the shot. 31-18, Old Dominion leads UTSA with two to go. So Bully over Smith, no. The rebound comes down to Trice of the Monarchs. Outlet to Hunter. Lead pass to Oliver. Oliver on the right-hand side. To a slashing Trice. Now left-hand side. A wing three. That's way off the mark from Hunter. And it falls in the lap of Latchlin Boffinger. 95 seconds to play in the half. Monarchs by 13. They've led all the way here in Norfolk tonight. Zumble into the corner. Boffinger for three. No good. Azikpe, good position, and it's knocked out of bounds by four. Again, left-hand penetration by Zumba. Quickly to the lineup, Christian Tucker, the 6'3 freshman from Chandler, Arizona, taking the spot of Latchlin Boffinger. Aliu, Aliu. In for four. 125 to go in the half. Hunter working on Tucker. A screen from Azikpe. Twice. Now to Smith on the right wing. Back to Jalen. Jalen puts it on the deck. Drives and dishes. And Kalu oh. not ready for that one. Not a very good pass in traffic. No, it was very, very close. Thrown at Kalu's feet. Very difficult. Big guys certainly don't want to have a bounce pass thrown in that close of quarters. McNeil back in for Steve Henson's Roadrunners with 65 seconds to go in the half. Tucker hands it back to McNeil. A screen from Germany. Down the left-hand side into the right-hand corner. This is Zumble. And this is a three from Zumble. Helping keep this ball club in the game. Eric Zumble cut the lead to 10. 46 seconds to play in the half. Zumble with a team-high 11. He averages 1.8 a game. Here's Trice putting it on the deck, spinning to the left and putting it up with the right, and that's a goal tend against Germany. Not sure if that one's going to go in, Dave. I don't think it was either. Trice with 15, and the lead is back to 33-21. 4.8 second differential, shot clock and game clock here. We wind down the first half in Norfolk. Sumble and Hunter just over the midcourt strike. Yo-yo's the dribble back and forth. I'd, I'd make him go right. You think? He, yeah. Makes him go right. Dribble handoff to Saboli. Now McNeil. Seven on the shot clock. Almost loses it. Double team gets the ball. LAU, LAU into the corner. Sumble. This is a three. No good. Three seconds to go in the half. Charles Smith. Good if it goes for over. He's got 11 for UTSA at the half. And this is a guy that's shooting 27% from the floor for the year. He's 5 for 7 in this game because he's been able to go left. Monarchs start with the basketball and a 12-point lead. A.J. Oliver moves it to the left wing to Kaiser. Now to the low blocks to Austin Trice, the Monarchs' leading scorer. He misses the little jumper off the front end, and here comes UTSA. Uh, that's Austin Trice's first miss of the game. He was 7 for 7 at half. Germany with eight in the first half. Zumble, as I mentioned, with 11. Boffinger spins in the lane and puts it up with the right hand, taps it off the board. No. And the back tap comes to C.J. Kaiser of Old Dominion. He's on the right side. Cuts to the middle of the floor for the elbow. Oh, turns, tough. fires. No good. Rebound to Jacob Germany of UTSA. Uh, Quickly to Zumble. Now to Sabuli. Not a very good shot by C.J. Kaiser on that possession. Zumble back to Germany, tipped away by Trice. Thought about diving over the first row, but then thought again. And Ted, how many games have you seen at halftime where only two people have scored from the field? Not many. No, Germany and uh, Zumble. Only ones with field goals in that Bob, first Bob half. has a couple of free throws, but you're absolutely right. One minute into the second half, 33-21 Old Dominion. Darius McNeil drives and dumps it off. Nice move to the left block, and a little push shot is good. There's your field goal there for Boffinger. <laughs> He's got four, and it's 33-23 Old Dominion. We shouldn't have said anything. 
<laughs> Hunter and Oliver with Trice and Kaiser and Makai Long. He's got it. He's going to the hole. Wow. And it's stripped off him by Boffinger. Wow. Nice defensive play there. It's a nice little play, though. It, Kaiser coming off that little down screen and a nice roll by Long. Hunter to inbound, baseline left to Kaiser. Little two-foot baseline jumper is good. Ooh, and it counts, and he's fouled on the play. That is not an easy shot. C.J. Kaiser comes off that little screen, hard, takes it one dribble with a quick little pull-up jump shot from about three feet. That is a difficult shot. Not much margin for error on that jumper. Zumble picks up the personal foul, his first. And Kaiser will try and complete the three-point play after fixing the wardrobe a bit. <laughs> three-point play is executed. He's in double figures. Again, he averages 14 and a half a game to lead Old Dominion. Monarchs by 13 with 18.25 to play here in Norfolk. ODU 1-0 in Conference USA. The Roadrunners 0-3. Monarchs had their last two games. One at FAU. One at Charlotte, postponed because of COVID. And there's a nice move to the hole. First bucket for Lehman Saboli. Nice nice little hesitation dribble, change of pace. Whoa, there's Ooh. a looping scoop from Jalen Hunter. How about that? That was the high degree of difficulty and high off the glass. And you were almost saying no, 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 yes, yes, yes oh, again. No, I, I was never saying no, no, no. <laughs> Zumble. <laughs> Zumble. Boffinger now against Long. Looking for some help. <laughs> Meanwhile, 11 to shoot for the Roadrunners, who trail at 38-25. Bovinger backdoor cut and a good one, but the pass gets away, stolen by Oliver. Now to Kaiser. McNeil couldn't come up with that backdoor pass catch. And the Monarchs have the basketball. 17 oh. and a half to go, 38-25. Little zone now, looks like, from the Roadrunners. Or maybe not, as Oliver Rome takes it to the hole with authority. A.J. with a flush. And the Monarchs have their largest lead of the night with 17-11 to go. Nice, strong move by A.J. Oliver. Zumble now. Here's the backdoor cut from Boffinger. His elbow jumper is good. He's got a couple of field goals this half. Six for the game, and it's 40-27, to Old Dominion. Hunter on the right side. One bounce to Trice, Austin Trice. A dribble, top of the circle, back to Jalen Hunter. Hunter gets to the foul line, steps back, and the 16-footer is good. Seven for Jalen Hunter, and it's 42-27, Old Dominion, 16-35 to play. Roadrunners came in at 7-9 and nine overall this year. Monarchs were 6-8. and eight. Boffinger almost gets caught up in the air, but he finds Saboli. Now to Germany. Germany gets some contact. Nothing called. And he hits Zippo with a little jump hook. Here comes Makai Long quickly into the front court to our left. To Oliver. Back to Kaiser. Push pass to Hunter. Hunter gets to the elbow. He steps back for a little eight-footer that only goes seven feet. Nice rebound there from Boffinger. Now it's Zumble down the left side. Driving and nice dishing pass. and Germany finishes. Very nice pass from Zumble. 42-29, Old Dominion. Monarch. Unselfish. The big thing on the defensive end, Eric Zumbled in the first half, had his way with us going left. We are taking his left hand away, and he's been very ineffective as far as scoring. Roadrunners going to the zone here. Kaiser goes to Trice. Oh. Trice to Smith, and he can't hit the layup. Nice tic-tac, but no toe there. And the lead remains 28. McNeil at the top of the circle goes down the left-hand lane pulls up the dribble tries to get it to Germany But it's stolen by Ezekpe You're right with those quick hands and the Monarchs have settled down defensively blocking off the attempted drives. Here's Kaiser splitting defenders driving and hitting <laughs> 61 31 largest lead of the night Christian Tucker freshman from Chandler, Arizona Aleu, Aleu. Boffinger. Monarch still not man to man. Emoesi and guarding Tucker. Takes it to the hole, throws it up with the oh. right and off pass oh. it goes. Oh. 
The prayer was answered. Christian Tucker's first field goal. Essien cannot defend that any better. That was just a heck of a shot. 61-33, Old Dominion. Essien and Kaiser and Ezekpe and Trice and Smith on the floor for Jeff Jones. Monarchs looking to go to 7-8. and eight. Here's Smith in the paint. Puts it on the deck, gets to the left-hand wing, hands to Kaiser in the corner. Kaiser, Boffinger on the man-to-man defense there, and Kaiser just says, I'll jack it up. No good. Essie in the rebound. Here's Smith stepping into a three. Oh, that's no good. Trice soars, but can't get his hands on it. Germany does to Tucker on the right-hand side. Tucker won that night, 84-59, to back in the old bonus play days. And they've got a 61-33 lead here tonight. Essien to Trice. Oh. Trice to a Zeke pay. And they're going to call him for steps. Really good look from Trice to a Zeke pay, but he just put, didn't put the ball on the deck soon enough. Call for steps. That's the first turnover in the second half. Comes with just over nine minutes to go. Aleu Aleu with Charles Smith in his grill. Now to Tucker. You know what I'm kind of impressed with here, Dave? The Roadrunners haven't just been jacking up threes. They're trying to get something a little easier. Aleu, Aleu has his pocket pick, but it comes to Boffinger. No three there. Just a foul line jumper that's going to go in off glass for Darius McNeil. Their last two field goals have been prayers. That Both one, answered. Yeah. 61-35. Monarchs lead. They've led from wire to wire here tonight. Kaiser back to Essien on the right wing. Emo Essien to the foul line. Detrice turns. Double team there. Quickly back to Emo. 13 to shoot. Left-hand side Kaiser drives. Baseline. Scoop of the right. It's oh. good. Whoa. Wow. Talk about manufacturing a shot. I thought he got caught up in the air with no place to go. Little finger roll. Taking it to the hole at the other end off glass. But Tucker doesn't get the roll. Germany has the rebound. Out of bounds off Old Dominion. Roadrunner basketball with 8.02 to play. That was George Gervin-esque, wasn't it? It really was. Former Eastern Michigan Eagle. Good to see the Iceman get his name on a building up there in Ypsilanti. I played with ice for a year. You can't find a nicer guy. One of my favorite guys. Oh, he's the of all, Favorite, favorite players of all time as well. Love the finger roll. And at 6'7", he could do so many things. Here's Germany at 6'11", trying to do a few things, and he takes it to the hole, can't get the layup to go. Did all the hard work, couldn't finish. Under eight to play. Monarch 63, Roadrunners 35 here in Norfolk. Hunter now to Trice. Trice, no one in his way! Look out below! Austin Trice with a flush! Old Dominion. Trice with 19 now to lead all scores. Zumble, 11 in the first half. Nothing since, as Dave mentioned. Leo Leo has the handle, gets to the underneath part, puts it up. No. His two points tonight have come from the line, and he's two for four now, but he gets his own rebound. Puts it on the deck, takes it to the hole again. The layup, no, but he crashes into Oliver. An offensive foul is called on Eleu. Eleu, his second personal foul. Yeah, he was a little out of control as soon as he picked up the ball. Now, Ted, here's the amazing thing. What's amazing, Dave? Tell me what's amazing. UTSA had seven field goals at the half. They've made six this half. Two of them were prayers. So defensively, Coach Henson talked about Trademark of Jeff Jones' teams is uh, on the defensive end. That has proved very true today. And they haven't tried a three in a long time. Still one for 11. There's a kick from Germany. Monarch shooting 64% from the field. Their season high is 58. They did that the last time out down in Miami against FIU. And, Dave, here's a team that scored 80 in their last two games, and they're on track for another 80-plus point game. What's going on? Well, I think you can see a tempo shift. I mean, we're looking to get the ball out quickly. We're hitting ahead. We're looking to run the fast break and make opportunity scores. D'Angelo Steins into the ball game for Old Dominion. 
And here's Long. Long puts it on the deck against Germany. One bounce to Trice. He'll take his first three of the year and miss it. With the shot clock going down. We would have never heard the end of that if (laughs) if he made that. He still might not ever hear the end of that if he goes to the bench anytime soon. 65-35 Monarchs with 6-10 to go. Here's Sabully. The pass is going to be kicked. Stein's got a shoe on it and it'll be 20 seconds for the roadrunners to get a shot off zumbo will inbound the ball to phoenix four chases it down by the midcourt stripe gets it to tucker back to zumbo a quiet second half as he is made to go to the right and How about there's, that? there's novel, a, that's a novel concept isn't it hunter's going to pick up the personal foul as he got a piece of layman sabuli first personal on one of the monarch co-captains he and kalua zeke Bay co-captains for this year's club tucker looking looking finds zumble in the left wing he puts it on the deck going to his right puts it up with the right and in his first points of the second half. That was a tough, tough shot. 13 points for Eric Zumble. Into the right-hand corner, Makai Long. Ooh. Kaiser flashed for the foul there line. They that's finally get it want. to him, and we've yeah, got the steps call. call. Good call. But that's where you want to attack that zone. Kaiser flashes to the free throw line. Top of the key area, gets it. He does walk. Christian Tucker, one of the freshmen on this Roadrunner roster, hands it off to the junior, Zumble. Here comes Farmer. And the rattle around goes in. It's his first for a field goal. 65-39, Old Dominion. Kaiser takes it to the hole. Delays and has it knocked out of bounds. Old Dominion basketball with 5.07 to play. Right, now, the officials are not going to bail anybody out now. Five five minutes to go. 20-plus point game. It's the type of game, if you had the type of officials, that could get really sloppy and really go dead in the water. But they haven't allowed that to happen. Here's Long. Against Farmer oh. for two. Mackay switches hands. He's got six. 67-39. Okay, we'll call that one lucky, too. All right, so that, that <laughs> in the lucky basket, but still a basket that counts. Farmer doesn't fire it. Hands the ball off to Sabali. Out of Ford. Here's Tucker going behind Ford, looking for help. He's double teamed in the corner. Brings it back. Ford, will he hoist? Backs it up. Trice had the look in his eye. Mano a mano, Phoenix Ford drives and loses the basketball. Steins with the steal, and he's blasted by Zumble. Third foul on Eric Zumble. Angelo Steins been working with a stiff back. It's good to bring Kalu in now. Let him maybe get an extended run for these four minutes, which for him. Tonight would be an extended run. Whoa. (laughs) C.J. Kaiser forgot about the game going on after he released the inbounds pass. That would have been a bad turnover right in front of your coach. Here's Hunter. One bounce. Oh, great look for Makai Long. Up and under move. The layup, no. Ford battles for it. So does Makai. Puts it up, no. Zeke Pay's going to finally draw the foul. A lot of contact. Well, you're giving uh, UTSA a little bit of their own medicine by hitting the offensive glass. Good effort by Makai Long and Kalu. Azikpe will go to the line. Again, just one day of practice this week for Azikpe as the Monarchs have been battling COVID. A couple members of the team party had to drive back from Miami so they wouldn't infect the team. First one from Azikpe is no good. A long ride, I heard it was. I would not want to do that drive. Where were you when the ball dropped, I asked. Said just out of Fayetteville, going about 40 (laughs) miles an hour in the pouring rain. Oh, my gosh. 
Down in San Antonio, an update on women's basketball between these two institutions. Old Dominion leads UTSA 18 to 11. That's after one quarter. Down in San Antonio. Second one from Ezekpe Falls. And Kalu's got seven points to go along with seven rebounds. 68-39, four minutes to play. One stat that's very impressive, only six turnovers. Here's Farmer against Long, again off glass for two. And the big fella gets a little puffy with Mackay. Josh Farmer. Four points. A rare point in the paint for UTSA. They trail the Monarchs in that category. 36-20. Oh, and Hunter oh. is going downtown again. Oh, Jalen Hunter is feeling it from the three. That's his third one this uh, second half, isn't it? Third with the second half. Fourth for the yep. game. He's got 16. 71-41 Old Dominion. Farmer decides why not. And he's going to go and commit the foul. Really? I like how he taps his chest and says, my fault. Farmer with four points. A couple of rebounds and now a couple of fouls at the 314 mark and we will walk to the other end. Makai Long goes to the free throw line. Bassian comes in for Hunter, who gets a nice round of applause from the fans here in Norfolk, and why not? Jalen Hunter, six for nine, shooting four for five from three. Jalen Hunter had a nice game. Very good offensive game, both first half and second half, but I thought made it very nice and just... Excuse me, an adjustment. It's an emotional thing. It is. The, the adjustment is. he made was emotional. <laughs> Very nice second half defensively. He made a nice adjustment when he defended Eric Zumble. Makai Long goes two for two from the stripe. It's a 73-41 Old Dominion lead with 3.05 to play. Ford hounded by Long. Now to Boffinger. Zumble at the top with Emo Essien in his jersey. Left-hand side to Christian Tucker. He puts it on the deck, drives, gets it to Germany. His little shot's good. Jacob Germany has 12 points, and you wonder why Tucker doesn't shoot that. Just maybe for next time, you know, to get the confidence up. But he gets the assist on that one as Germany converted. Here's Ezekpe. Hands it off to Makai Long in the right corner. Puts it on the deck with the left hand to Charles Smith. Left wing three. Rattles in and out and in. Charles Smith, the fourth. His second three-pointer, and it's 76-43, 2.22 to go. Looks like Doug Sermon spotted some perspiration. Uh, Jalen Hunter's doing it all. He's mopping up the floor. Gives me a chance. Jeff Jones is going barefoot, barefoot over there for Samaritan's Feet tonight, a fundraising effort he does each and every year. Kalua Zikpe will come out. D.J. Gill into the ball game. Garden Tucker. Now it's Ford to Zumble. 2.10 to go. Now last time Gill was in a game, he made sure he got a couple shots up. <laughs> Here's Ford with six on the shot clock against Charles Smith the fourth. Crossing over, putting on the deck, taking oh. it to the hole and drawing the foul. Oh, Charles did a nice job until the very end when he slapped down. But he did a nice job of staying in front of his man. So Phoenix Ford. Three for 14 from the free throw line this year. Wow. 0 for 1 tonight as he misses wide right. A little hitch in that uh, shot, isn't there? He goes 1 for 2. One fifty-six to play. D'Angelo Steins, Emo Essien, B.J. Gill, Charles Smith the fourth, and Makai Long on the floor for Old Dominion. Tucker and Ford, Zumble, 
Sabuli. And oh. And take oh. it to the hole is Steins. Nice penetration. Little spinner off the glass. Ooh, I like that. Zumble at the other end drives from the left side and hits the layup, and he gets the end one opportunity. What side did you say? Drew? The left side. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Zumble for the three-point play. Swish. Career high, 16 points for Eric Zumble, the 6'3 junior from Verona, Italy. 90 seconds to play in Norfolk, 78-47. Monarchs on top of the Roadrunners. Into the corner, Charles Smith, the fourth. No good. Rebound comes down to Ford. Zumble now. Ford drives baseline, closed off there nicely by a combination of Long and Smith. Tucker with the basketball now, and he'll pull up for the long oh. jumper. No good, but he's fouled by Steins. It'll get a couple of free throws out of that one. <laughs> I, on that foul, I just quickly looked over to Jeff. Not happy with that. Scoring for the Monarchs, 19 for Trice, 16 for Hunter and Kaiser, 8 for Makai Long, 7 for Kalua Zikpe, 6 for Charles Smith, 4 for A.J. Oliver, 2 for D'Angelo Steins. As Tucker hits the first foul shot, he's got 3. 16 for Zumble, 12 for Germany. 2 for 2 goes Tucker from the strike. So he's got 4. Bovinger has 6. Two apiece for McNeil and Aleu and Sabuli. Farmer has four and Phoenix Ford has one. And we have a minute to play here at Chartway Arena in Norfolk. Essie into the hole. His layup is good. And the Monarchs hit 80 for the third straight game. Oh, another nice little hesitation drill by Emo. When was the last time defense. the Monarchs had 80 in three straight games? Oh, I can't tell you. Here's Ford. Push shot off glass for two. And Phoenix Ford has his first field goal. Three for the game. Ten second differential shot clock and game clock. Monarchs 80 to 51. Essien. Probing. Firing. Hitting. Oh. Essien. Oh. Monarchs are going to end this game with 83. We'll see what the Roadrunners can do as that one comes up a bit short. Makai Long will get across the timeline, and that will do it. Monarchs' first game of 2022 goes in the win column over UTSA 83-51. to